Good afternoon. More than 100 British Airways staff and three local MPs have gathered outside Brighton's i360, which is sponsored by the airline, to protest against the company's plans to cut 12,000 jobs. The Transport Select Committee, led by Sussex MP Hugh Merriman, has accused British Airways of attempting to take advantage of the coronavirus pandemic and says staff are being treated appallingly. Well, let's speak to our political editor, Amanda Acas. And Amanda, this protest has attracted a huge amount of political support, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, so it was a socially distanced protest, but a large crowd of people gathered here earlier, spread out underneath the imposing British Airways I-360, which is due to reopen tomorrow for the first time since the start of the pandemic, hoping to send a powerful message both to the government and, of course, to British Airways management about the strength of their anger at plans to cut 12,000 jobs and to dramatically reduce the terms and conditions of pay of those who remain. And I think it's a real sign of the depth of fear that three of our local MPs from two different parties, Labour's Peter Kyle and Lloyd Russell Moyle and Conservative Hugh Merriman all came down here today to speak to the protesters. I've come here to show my support to the British Airways staff who I believe are being appallingly treated by BA management at a time of real challenge uh, when I really feel BA should be standing by the staff that have contributed to all the profits over the years beforehand. So um, the cuts are too deep and it seems opportunist. The government hasn't stepped up and needs to step up on this matter and the government needs to require British Airways to step up as well and if they don't, a slot should be taken away from British Airways. But we don't want that. We want British Airways to stop this reckless uh, restructuring and stop taking advantage of their employees and the British public. Well, British Airways have always told us that they're acting now in order to protect as many jobs as possible in the face of an unprecedented economic circumstances. But it's clear today from the strength of feeling we've seen that they've very much got a fight on their hands.